Syrian rebels have been accused of using poison gas against government military positions in Aleppo on Sunday, which left at least 28 soldiers injured. This is all according to local media reports. The general command of Syria's armed forces said the attack was in response to its advance on the city. And in Aleppo right now is RT's Murad Gazdier with these details. The number we're hearing, uh, having called the hospitals in Aleppo, our good friends there, is 44 soldiers uh, injured. We don't know exactly how many of them uh, have died, how many are merely sick. Uh, apparently, the rebels shelled uh, an area near the airport of Aleppo. The area is called Karem, uh, Karem et Tarab. It's uh, close to the airport. It's depopulated. There's uh, only military, the Syrian military there. And this wouldn't be the first such attack recently. The rebels have been using uh, chlorine gas. They've used it at least three times, uh, according to reports, over the past two weeks. The previous time was on the 3rd of uh, November, before that on the 30th of October, when 40 people, including many civilians, were injured in an attack on New Aleppo during the second rebel offensive uh, on the city during the past month. Russian hazmat teams, that's uh, nuclear, chemical and biological protection troops, uh, have been to, uh, to, to an area of Aleppo where they've discovered a mine containing chlorine gas. When they tried to remove the mine, a white gas, a white substance came out. They field tested it, brought it to a laboratory and they found that, that uh, it's, a chlorine, it's a chlorine gas mine. Uh, there have been, again, as I say, numerous such attacks as well as regular shelling against Aleppo that's daily, that's happening daily and there are casualties uh, civilian military all over aleppo the uh, international uh, organization for the prohibition uh, of chemical weapons has been called their experts have been invited to aleppo to examine this evidence to examine this uh, these mines as well as samples of the soil and fragments of other mines uh, exploded ones to give their professional opinion well, Syrian rebel fighters have intensified fighting in Aleppo now over the past few weeks after Russia announced a halt in its airstrikes almost a month ago. And we spoke to professor of political sociology from Cairo, Saeed Sadek. He believes Syrian rebel factions are now truly worried about how things might change with the new U.S. administration coming to power. As you know, the, re the Syrian rebels today are in a political uh, dire strait. Some of the main suppliers, like the Gulf states, are now very busy with the Yemeni war. Uh, Turkey has its own agenda regarding the Kurds. Now the election of uh, President Trump uh, signals a change in American policy regarding the Syrian conflict. So they feel that uh, uh, they are being abandoned and they have to escalate so that at least they can gain uh, some ground or test the new administration, which is not still you know, in, in the White House before the 20th of January. So they are in a, in a, in a desperate attempt to show that uh, we can do something, that we can uh, challenge the regime, that we are not uh, uh, totally had been abandoned. So they are trying to do as much as possible. So expect a lot of things before the 20th of January 2017. On Sunday, four civilians were killed, including a child and two women, in a rebel attack on a residential area of Aleppo. The rebels are shelling government-held parts of the city on a daily basis, frequently targeting civilians. And the devastating humanitarian situation in Aleppo has left scores of locals displaced. <laughs> The shells started raining down on us. The windows at the school were shattered. My children were injured. We ran away and now we're here. My children often fall asleep hungry. Where do we get food? The locals say they don't have enough themselves. When we ask humanitarian agencies, they say they will only deliver food to the designated shelters, which we fled because they were shelled. They haven't eaten for two days. Yesterday my daughter was throwing up, the day before my son. It's very cold. The children are freezing. I don't have any more clothes for them. I have nothing apart from this blanket. <laughs> 